Despite low corn prices, corn growers are coming off a successful year for policy and growth in renewable fuels. That was the message industry leaders shared at the South Dakota Corn Growers Association annual meeting. Michelle Rook was in Sioux Falls to talk to industry experts about their outlook. Trade policy and growth in the renewable fuels industry drove the program and discussions here at the South Dakota Corn Annual Meeting. Growth Energy's Emily Score detailed their success in building the infrastructure to sell higher ethanol blends through their Prime the Pump campaign. The past year we doubled the amount of gas stations that are selling E15. We're now at over 1,300 gas stations in 29 states. The ethanol industry is also working with automakers to promote higher blends. It's an approach that we are taking um, with the automakers to try to figure out what octane do they want and what ethanol level in the fuel does that uh, lead us to. Mike Dwyer with the U.S. Grains Council says ethanol exports were also a record in 2017. The top market was Brazil, followed by Canada. It was a great year. Uh, in fact, it surprised all of us. Uh, 1.37 billion gallons. Uh, that's an awful lot of corn, uh, roughly about 500 million bushels. And Farm Bureau's Pat Wolf says farmers achieved another policy win in 2017 with tax reform. The tax bill that just passed should lower effective taxes for almost all farmers and ranchers. She says Congress is also working to fix Section 199A so it doesn't distort the market by providing an advantage for farmers that sell grain to cooperatives. In Sioux Falls, I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Week.